Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear students of class 9 and 10. Hope you are all by the grace of Almighty Allah. My name is Shabjad Hussain Khan. Today, I will discuss on matching table. Today's class is number 5. Before, I have already uh, provided you uh, for more classes on matching table. And I have taught you some uh, very, very important topics uh, how to solve matching table. There is an exercise I have written on the blackboard. Today, I will discuss this uh, matching table and uh, I will use some techniques to solve this. So, dear students, welcome to my new online class. Let's get started. Dear students, there are uh, three columns and five uh, sentence part uh, part of sentences we have to match all the three uh, columns uh, to solve this sentence from the first column the first part of the sentence a library is a place a library is a place uh, this is the uh, first part number a a library is a place at the library hoche amon ekta jayga the library hoche amon ekta jayga kemon jayga where various jekhane bibhinno dhoroner types of books are found jekhane bibhinno dhoroner boi paoa jay look at the blackboard number a plus number 3 from the second column and number two from the third column. This is our first line. A library is a place where various types of books are found. How I uh, find it to solve this sentence? Students, kya koro? Amra jani boro boro sentence kulo shadan to complex sentence gudhi to hai. And every uh, complex sentence contains two parts of a sentence or two clauses. One is principal clause and uh, another is subordinate clause in a complex sentence. A library is a place, this is a uh, principal clause because it contains a subject and a finite verb. And uh, from the second and third column, we have to find out a, another clause which will uh, maybe uh, coordinate clause or maybe subordinate clause. <coughs> Here, where is a uh, subordinate conjunction and it connects two parts of the sentence or, or, or two clauses. Where various, various is a uh, parts of a piece of adjective, it is an adjective. And I, we know adjective, uh, adjective follows a noun. Types is a noun. Various types of books are found. Here is the connection. A library is a place where various types of books are found. This is our first slide. In your answer script, you have to write full sentences after you have written the number. I have told you before my, my previous classes. The second line, it is very useful. It is very useful. Here we also found it is a, a principal clause. It is very useful because we know every clause contains a subject and a finite verb. It is very, it is subject, it is subject and it is a finite verb. It is very useful because it is a subordinate conjunction. We know uh, uh, subordinate conjunction connects two clauses and it makes a complex sentence. It is very useful because, after because we have to find out another subject and another finite verb. Then it will make a complex sentence. Dear students, uh, it is very useful because another subject here, uh, only this 
parts of the of the sentence starts with subject and we have we can find finite part we can read it is very useful because we can read what we can read when you ask uh, a part uh, with the word what or whom then we will find an object we can read what we can read we can read uh, object object many kinds of books there many kinds of books it's a noun phrase many kinds of books there it is very useful because we can read karon amra porte pari many kinds of books there shekhan apra onek dhoroner boi porte pari dear students uh, the read uh, number column it is very useful eta hocche ekta principal clause because hocche ekta subordinate conjunction ebong amra jani je subordinate conjunction diye complex sentence toiri hoy ebong principal clause er sathe ekta subordinate clause jukto hoy ar eta o amra jani je prottekta clause e kompokhe ekta Uh, before uh, I go to uh, sentence, sentence number three, I have to read, uh, write. I have to write the answer of second second sentence. B plus from the column two we have found number five, and from column C we have used uh, number four. This is our answer of second sentence. Dear students. Let's try for third sentence. It is very essential. It is very essential. Eta hoche kubi projoni or kubi jorori. Kisher jono jorori ki jono jorori. To and reach. To and reach. It is very essential to and reach. Eta kubi projoni or shamlitho korar jono. Ki shamlitho korbo. It is very essential to enrich our knowledge. It is very important to enrich our knowledge. It is very It's a simple sentence. My dear students, look at the board. It's a simple sentence because uh, the whole sentence contains one subject and one finite verb. Here, enrich is another verb, but here it is used as a non-finite verb because we know when um, we found two uh, before a verb one, then it call, it is called infinitive, and infinitive is a non-finite verb. It is very essential to enrich our knowledge. Then we have to write down the, the numbers of the third sentence at first. C C plus from the column uh, B we have taken number 2 plus from column C we have taken number 5 the, then the answer is it is very essential to enrich our knowledge my dear students we have completed our Sentence. Dear students, let's try for number uh, sentence number four. We can also here we uh, you have to look at this can. Uh, in my previous classes, I have discussed about uh, modal auxiliary verb. Can is the modal uh, primary modal auxiliary auxiliary. After can, we have to use verb one or verb. Uh, this form of verbs. We can also have adverb here also is an adverb but it has no word. We have to follow 
can as it is a model primary model of auxiliary verb and after primary model of auxiliary verb in active voice we use verb one we can also dash we have to find out verb one as solid verb one from this column b then uh, borrow this sentence part of the sentence starts with verb one borrow borrow er mane hocche dhar kora korjona we can also borrow here enrich is another verb one but uh, before enrich we have find two so we should not use it we have to use borrow because it's false and verb one and before uh, borrow there is nothing we can also borrow books amra boi dhar korte pari kotha theke boi dhar korte pari from here from here orthat amra ei library theke boi dhar korte pari my dear students let's uh, write down the answer of the fourth sentence at first in uh, from first column uh, we use number b and from column b we have to use number 4 and now from column c we have used number 1 dear students uh, the answer of our sentence number 4 has been completed if you can make four sentences correctly then uh the number of uh, five sentence becomes very easy for you uh because uh, rest of the parts of this sentence makes a full sentence a library is also known as a store house of knowledge dear students uh these three uh, part of the parts of the sentences are remaining parts of this uh column or table uh, then it makes a full sentence easily uh you have to uh, look grammatical terms uh, here uh, a library is also here is is an finite part also is an adverb part then after uh, auxiliary verb and is are in active voice we use verb ing present continuous tense subject plus any other plus verb ing it is called present continuous tense or it is an extra care of um, present continuous tense in a uh, present indefinite tense when we use passive voice then we have the structure is as follows subject that means uh, objective subject subject comes from object then we use any other then we use verb 3 here am is a plus verb 3 it is a passive voice it is a passive voice from the um, from present indefinite tense dear students a library is also known as a store house of knowledge the answer of sentence number 5 e plus Here, from here uh, we have taken number two, and then from column C we have taken number three. So, my dear students, uh, I hope you have understood all the sentences I have completed here, and I hope also you have understood some grammatical terms or techniques to solve this matching table. dear students um, i want you uh, to write these sentences in your notebook and send me the answer speed in my inbox as soon as possible i will look at your uh, notebooks and uh, give feedback uh, so dear students this table is your uh, class task or home task you have to complete it in your notebooks and uh, send me in my inbox my dear students uh, that's all for today hope uh, you will uh, pass very uh, valuable time in reading and uh, complete your uh, studies in your home be safe 
be at home till then bye bye